Hello all, uh, welcome to another session on cascading style sheets. In this session, we'll be looking at how to style uh, tables. So the topic for this session is uh, styling tables using CSS. So we'll be creating a simple table and we'll start applying the styles to this table. We'll create uh, tables of certain uh, formats like uh, you can see on this uh, display. Here. So we'll create a table like this and then we'll apply these styles. And then we'll create a table that follows this design template. And then we'll also look at how to create a table that follows this design template. So this uh, session is all about uh, styling tables using CSS. So let me go to Visual Studio. And we'll start off with a simple HTML page here. And uh, what is our title? It's going to be CSS uh, tables. And we'll create a very simple table for that. We start off with the table tag and inside the table, we have the row and uh, for the first row, we'll have the header, say we'll call this head one and we'll have some few headers here. We'll say this is head two and uh, we'll have another header that is uh, head three and uh, another header that we'll say that to be head four. We'll go with one more header that is uh, th and head five. The uh, first row is uh, ready. Next we'll have uh, the content for a table. So we'll have the rows. So we'll take another row. So now we'll have all the columns here. So I'll call this column one data. And uh, we'll have again five columns. So this is column two and uh, we'll have another column. So this is column three and another column we'll have. This is uh, column four and finally one more column. This is column five. So five columns of uh, data. We have what we'll do is we'll just uh, replicate this so that we get many columns. Okay. A few rows and columns. You can see the table by the side. So we are uh, done with the table now. We have to apply some styles to this. For this, I'm going to use test.css, a separate CSS file. Let me link that file to my HTML page. So it's test.css. And now we'll start applying some styles for this. The very first thing I'm going to do with my table is uh, for all the rows, for all the uh, columns and the header and then the columns, what we're going to do is we're going to have a border. So this border, we'll have it for uh, say one or say two pixels uh, solid and uh, we'll have uh, maybe a blue color border. So we have applied a border and this border is applicable to the entire table for the rows, for the header and the columns. So we have applied the borders. Next, we can go with this property that is border collapse. So this will collapse the borders. So let's go with collapse and then we'll say collapse. So you'll be able to see the difference here. The borders get collapsed. So that is the use of border collapse. And we can also apply all the text styling and font styling, which we have learned in our previous sessions. So we can go with a uh, larger font if you want a font size to be, say, larger. It's, it's very large, say, let's say large. So we have a font size that's large and we can go with font weight to be bold. So we can do all that styling that's applicable for um, the fonts that we have learned earlier. We can also go with padding, say padding. I'll give padding of five pixels. So that's the padding that's getting applied here. And uh, we can also go in for uh, text align. So we can align the text either center, left justify or right justify it. So you can go in for left. I'll align it uh, to the center. So we'll align it to the center. So all these kinds of styling we can apply on a table.
so we have done some uh, font text and padding for a table so it's a uh, you can see the output here now what we'll do next is we'll try and have an hover effect say if i move my uh, cursor over a row there should be some background color so how to apply that so we can go with uh, for every row what we are going to do is we are going to when we hover so it's hover when you hover you give a background color say i'll have the background color as aqua so what is the effect we are going to get by this is when i hover you can see there is a background color so it, this effect comes into place only when i hover my uh, cursor over the rows so this is the hover effect and it happens when you hover your cursor over the rows so this is one of the uh, nice effects that you can have on your tables and uh, we can also go with uh, permanent coloring for our rows for instance uh, instead of hover i just give tr and then i just give background color background color to be aqua now all the rows gets this aqua color that is the background and for the heading alone i can have a separate color say i can have a background color for the heading to be in brown let's say we have it in brown so we have a separate color for the heading and for the rest of the table we have a separate color so this kind of styling is also possible now let's uh, move on let's uh, see whether we can have separate colors for alternate rows instead of having one color i just want separate color for alternate rows so how is that we are going to achieve that so let me have the header color to be th and uh, let it let it be like that so for alternate rows say starting from row number three this is row number three right so three five and seven and nine like that so for each of the rows i should uh, have a background color so how to achieve that it's a tr we say it's a nth child so we select the nth child and you can go with odd so select all the odd rows and have this background color to be aqua so now you can see all the rows that are odd numbered say this is row number three row number five row number seven row number nine we're going to have the background color as aqua so this is uh, another styling that uh, will decorate your tables say if you want to have the colors only for the even numbered uh, rows now you might have guessed it it's nothing but even here and you save this and you'll be able to see the difference now so this background color aqua has been applied to all the even numbered rows okay i hope you are able to follow this now let us play with the borders let's say i just want the border bottom to be highlighted for all my rows how to perform that they have to go with certain changes here let me go with border um, bottom color we will give the color to be blue and border bottom style style is solid and border bottom width width is say 2 pixels so now you see the style of the table has changed so what i am highlighting here is only the bottom borders so here border bottom that is the style is solid with these two pixels and the border bottom color is blue so this is another styling that you can apply to your tables and uh, i think uh, that that was my first uh, design so here you have this design so the same kind of a design you are able to see it on the screen we have achieved a first styling let us move on to the next template i have say what if you want to have a design like this so here you're going to talk about the first column having a specific color and the first row the header row having a specific color and all the other uh, rows and columns uh, here we have the odd numbered uh, rows alone having a separate uh, background color so we'll see how to achieve this so for this uh, what is important is uh, let's uh, maintain this as such and um, we are going to work with the header header we are going to have the color as black let's have the color as black 
and uh, uh, here for the header we'll have the color uh, to be uh, white for the font color to be white so that is our header and next what we have to do is we have to have the very first column to be highlighted in black so for that we have to select td and uh, nth child we are selecting the column now and we are selecting the first column and we will give the background color to be black and uh, what we will do is we will give the font color to be in white so we have achieved the template let's uh, go with tr nth child odd and then we can give the color we can select some uh, dark gray or uh, gray something like that okay so yes so we have achieved our uh, template here so what is this uh, design template the first uh, uh, column and in the first row will have the same colors and then the same kind of font coloring whereas the odd numbered rows will have the same background color so this is another kind of uh, design that you can apply for your uh, tables i hope you were clear with this say here while you're selecting the child we say tr nth child odd we can also give that as 2 n plus 1 so this in turn means it's an odd uh, number the, it goes like this 2 into 1 plus 1 that is 3 2 into 2 plus 1 that is 5 so you can you can either give it as uh, odd or you can also mention it as 2n or 2n plus 1 when you say 2n it's going to be even when it is 2n plus 1 it will represent odd so here we'll go with just odd so when you refresh this we get the template now let us go to the next template uh, this is uh, with respect to having separate colors for your columns so this template is all about having separate colors for each column we'll have a separate color and for the heading we'll have a separate color uh, quite a simple uh, template let's see how to apply that so here for heading we're going to have the black color and the font is going to be white let's leave it like that whereas for each of the columns we should have a separate color so we are going to select the columns td nth child say for all the even numbered columns let's have some color here say we'll say the color to be um, aqua okay and uh, we'll not have any font color here so you see all the even numbered columns will have the color aqua if you want to go with odd number columns yes we say td nth child and odd and we can select a separate color here say background color background color we'll say it's a uh, gray something like that say blue a blue is not looking good <laughs> let's go with uh, something that's okay <laughs> say carrot blue something like this okay so we have separate colors for every odd numbered and even numbered columns so even with columns that is possible and uh, we don't need this tr property here so we are done with our next uh, um, template too there's one thing i have learned uh, when i was working with this template see i was talking to you about this hover effect right say if i give tr and uh, Hover and uh, say background color to be some black. We try to create an hover effect on a table wherein I have applied background color for all my columns like this. We are not going to have the hover effect working. So you you can't have the hover effect working when you have a background color set for your columns like this. Say when I disable this uh, background color, for instance, let me come in this. When I disable the background color, immediately you can see my hover effect comes into place. So this is something that you have to keep in mind that uh, hover effect will not work when you have the background color set for your columns like this. So these are some of the uh, style templates that you can apply on your uh, tables uh, while you're creating your web pages. I hope you were able to follow the entire concept, simple concepts, and you can also take it further and make more uh, good designs so if you have anything else uh, you can leave your comments and uh, we'll be continuing with the other properties of css in the next session thank you for listening thank you